Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a video that is slightly different from my normal videos. It's not a favorites or a real talk or anything. I'm just going to be talking about my favorite TV shows and in particular my favorite crime drama TV shows because I do have a lot and I have a lot to say about them and I just love them so I've always wanted to do a video dedicated to them and that is why I'm wearing this fabulous skull top. I thought that would be very fitting, sleeveless, muscle tee. It's actually really cool because it looks like kind of grayed out, but the inside is like the actual full crisp black print, but yes. I'll go ahead and get started because I don't want this to be too terribly long, but I do want to go into a fair amount of detail. So I'm going to flip this back because because I hate looking at it. But so my favorite crime show of all time has got to be Criminal Minds. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you all kind of when the show started and when the last episode or season was and also how many seasons. So Criminal Minds started in 2005 and it just got renewed for its 10th season. So it's still going on. So there's new episodes. The, new, the next season, the 10th season starts, I believe I saw October 1st of this year, so in a few months, and yeah, it was the first show that I, the first crime show that I got into, and I binge watched it, I don't even know when I started, it couldn't have been more than a year and a half ago, so I've seriously binge watched all of these shows in a really short amount of time, but I started watching it and literally watched every single episode, like maybe... I, I probably skipped a few seasons or episodes in the beginning because, I mean, if you think of a show starting in the early 2000s, the production value was a lot lower, quality was worse, the acting was worse, because, you know, the actors didn't have as much experience and whatever, but, yeah, so I probably skipped a few of those in the beginning, but I've definitely watched all of the recent ones, and I'm very up to date. I love the cast. I mean, Matthew Gray Goobler is one of my celeb crushes. He's just very eccentric and kind of strange, but I don't know, there's something attractive about him and his character because he's extremely smart, and that is so attractive to me. He has this crazy reading ability where he can, like, it's almost as if he can read through his finger. He, like, scans everything really fast and can remember it, and he's just a genius, but also... Shamar Moore, who plays, oh god, I don't even remember his name, it's Spencer, um, I honestly don't know what his character name is, why can't I remember this? Wow, this is embarrassing. And then AJ Cook, who is JJ, I love her. All of the other characters are amazing as well, but those three are just my favorite. But what I like about Criminal Minds the most out of all of the shows. I have like a list of notes, that's what I'm looking at. But what I like about Criminal Minds the most is that it focuses on the FBI's Behavioral Analysis Unit, so the BAU. So it isn't so much focused on the crimes, but the criminals, and more about how the brain works and how human behavior works. And I just find it a little bit more interesting than following evidence or things like that. So I just think that it's personally for me the most interesting, but I also love the side stories and the personal little things about relationships and things like that, but yeah, personally I think it's the best, not necessarily the most, like the first crime show ever, because CSI definitely takes that, but um, yeah, I just love the characters. I think they're really witty, really funny, and the connections that they have are just amazing. My second favorite would definitely be the CSI series, and from my most favorite to least favorite it would be the original CSI, so Crime Scene Investigation, then CSI New York, and then CSI Miami. I probably watched them in the reverse order. I started, I think, with Miami and then went New York in original, but I just love, I mean, I love all of them. I, as for characters, I definitely like CSI Miami the least. Um, I don't know, I think it was, let's see, it ran from 2002 to 2012 with 10 seasons, so it started the latest and ended the earliest, which is really interesting, but 
Um, yeah, so I just think that there are a lot more episodes that just weren't as... I don't know, just the, I think that the production value for a lot of the really early shows just weren't as good. And the storylines were okay, but I don't know, I just didn't like the characters and the kind of scenery as much. But it was, well, good enough. But CSI New York and the original are definitely my favorites. I just like how it just seems more modern to me. Um, I don't know, I just like the characters the best. And as for CSI New York versus the original, I really don't know which I would choose. I've really been watching the original lately, but New York might be my favorite characters. No, they're definitely my favorite characters, but I like the episodes of CSI better and what happens. And CSI New York ran from 2004 to 2013 with nine seasons, and the original Crime Scene Investigation, CSI, went from 2012 to current. So it's been going for 14 years, and it just got renewed for its 15th season. So there's like a million episodes, like so, so, so many. And it's so funny watching the really early episodes and seeing like the quality was terrible. The episodes were less original, and now it's like amazing. I love how they go off of real life like crimes and events and news things and kind of play them and weave into their storyline and kind of get inspiration for real things. But I also just love the amount of episodes. This goes for Criminal Minds as, as well. But the amount of episodes that play off of each other. So there is a series of episodes. Not really a series, but... There's a series of episodes in CSI where they're all based off of this miniature killer. Where the killer leaves a miniature of like the crime scene. And it, I just find it so fascinating for some reason. I love how there's like a continuation. It's not just, you know, one and done type of thing. Um, there's more. I just I just love when that happens. I also love when characters get involved. Especially with Criminal Minds. I love how... I love when a character is kind of put on the spot, either their family member is taken or is one of the team members is kind of being questioned or involved somehow. I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting than just when it's like random people. But yeah, so CSI, um, obviously the name crime scene investigation, it has to do with the evidence. So it is more gruesome, although I would say Criminal Minds does show more of the like murder scenes and stuff like that but CSI focuses a lot more on like the body and what the evidence has to say I mean that's the whole point of it but there are some points where I have to fast forward where they're in the coroner's office or um not office but you know what I mean and they're like cutting the body open and looking at the organs I always fast forward that because it's just it creeps me out and I don't know, I don't find it as interesting, but yeah, it is interesting to me how little, 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 tiny pieces of evidence can lead them to a suspect. I just, it blows my mind. But, okay, for another show, this was my, this was the second one that I got into, and it's Without a Trace, and it's different from all the other ones because it isn't so much focused on murder, it's more of like a not necessarily kidnapping but just disappearance like it says they're gone without a trace they're there one day and gone another but this one ran from 2002 to 2009 and it had seven seasons so it didn't really get into the time where technology was as advanced so like I've been saying the about like the production value was lower and I don't know I just think that there were a lot more episodes that were very, very, very similar than a lot of the shows that have, like, progressed and gained different influences and stuff like that. But yeah, it was interesting because it was different than the others. There were a lot more kidnappings. There were a lot of kids who were taken and they had to find that. And if you are really squeamish, it was a better one to watch because it was focused more on the people and... Not in the sense of criminal minds where, like, mental analysis and stuff like that. It was more on, like, relationships and seeing, well, this person did this last and kind of series of events more than 
evidence or behavior. And also there was a, it's hard to put into words, but I guess higher success or like retrieval rate where less of the characters were killed off than obviously in Criminal Minds or CSI where there's like murders. But yeah, so that was different. But one of the things that I like about that um, was that one of the characters who was Samantha Spade, I remember that. How do I not remember Shamar Moore's character on Criminal Minds? That is so weird. But I remember all the others. But um, Samantha Spade on Without a Trace is played by Poppy Montgomery, who is now in the series Unforgettable. And it's been on from 2011 to now. It's on its third season. And I just think it's, that it's cool how she's, like, like, gone from one to another. I don't know. It made me interested. That's one of the reasons why I watched it, because she was in it, and I recognized her. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's very, it's different, but the same. So, it's placed in New York, I believe, and it is, you know, a crime drama, just like the rest of them. And she... Rem like has an impeccable memory so she will kind of scan the room when she goes somewhere and can remember every single last thing so if she sees something while they're interviewing someone or checking out a place and she kind of pieces them together she can say oh this person did this and it's just a little bit different and more unique okay sorry about that my camera just stopped recording which is fabulous but like I was saying I think it focuses more on large-scale events so it's more of like a terrorism type of thing just stuff like that where it's not focused more on it's focused more on the big term consequences than like little people and also I would definitely say that Unforgettable is by far the best one to watch if you do not want to see like dead bodies or murders because it does not focus on that at all. It is strictly based on like interrogation type of things. It's not even really evidence or behavior, anything like that. It is strictly just kind of following what happened and kind of piecing together little pieces of things that tie people together so you have nothing to worry about if you're freaked out and squeamish because I am and that one you can watch anytime and it's definitely not scary either it's you could watch that in the middle of the night and be perfectly fine so yeah those were my let's see one two three four four shows that I have been or series is that I've series is that's weird, that I have been really hooked on. But there are a few more that I want to mention. Um, I have watched NCIS a few times, and I've never watched Law & Order, just to throw that out there. But NCIS is good, and there's a million episodes of the that. I know there's a new one. I think it's NCIS New Orleans, but there's a bunch of them. And I would watch it, but... For one, there's just too many episodes, and I hate going back really far where, like, the episodes are just, like, I don't know. It's just awkward watching the old episodes, but also because I don't like how it's so governmentally focused, so, eh, I don't know. I mean, it's good. It's definitely good. The newer episodes are great. I'll probably watch the new series that's coming out, but as for the older ones, I'll only watch it if I'm kind of out and there's nothing else to watch. But speaking of new shows, there are two new shows. I believe they're both on ABC and they're both crime dramas. The first one is called Forever and it will be out on sometime this fall um, on Tuesdays. And it's really interesting, different, it has a different spin. But it is about a, I believe he is a surgeon, doctor, medical examiner, coroner type of guy. And somehow he's 200 years old. So in the process of like, you know, seeing how these people are dying and whatever, he's also trying to figure out how he's lived so long. So you can watch the trailer. I mean, I don't know anything about it, obviously, because there have been no episodes, but it just looks different and kind of cool. And hopefully there will be like flashbacks because my favorite part of a lot of my favorite shows are when they flash back to previous time periods. So that'll be neat. But also one that will be out on Thursdays is How to Get Away with Murder, which is definitely something that is so interesting to me. Not because I'm trying to, you know, do that, but it is 
interesting because it's more of a kind of teaching show. So the main character, I believe it's Viola Davis, if I'm not mistaken, and she is a professor in college and she teaches like a law, not a law, but it's like a, a criminal law, I think it is criminal law class. So she's teaching these kids all about law and in the process they kind of get into this weird thing where they're actually involved in law and like murder somehow. It just seems interesting and different how she's actually teaching it and I think it'll give more of like actual knowledge into the stuff. But yeah, they're definitely my favorite shows. I think crime dramas are so interesting because I love seeing people get busted and caught and they do it all the time and it's just fascinating to see like what drove these people to do this stuff and how they picked their targets and their killing methods that's creepy um but also just the mental stuff as well the behavior analysis i think that's beyond fascinating and intriguing so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. This was definitely a different video for me to film where I just talk about one topic, but if you love crime dramas, then give it a thumbs up and tell me what's your favorite. And if you don't, I would definitely recommend checking a few of them out. The newer episodes, I wouldn't go too far back because you're going to be like, oh my god, who watches this stuff? But the newer episodes, phenomenal. They're so great. So I would definitely recommend checking some of them out if you're looking for new TV this fall. And yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.